Hey, Mike and Quita, if April showers bring Mayflowers, what do Mayflowers bring? I don't know. What? Pilgrims. 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 Oh. I knew the joke. <laughs> but really, April showers, Mayflowers, is there any truth to that? Jay Wallace takes a look. You've probably heard the phrase, April showers bring May flowers. But have you ever wondered what that phrase really means? Let's start with some literature. Many believe the rhyme originated in 1557 from the writer Thomas Tusser. In his collection of writing, he called a hundred good points of husbandry. He wrote in the April section, sweet April showers do spring May flowers. Since then, this phrase has only grown more prevalent. Being used in other types of writing, a popular 1920s song covered through the decades, and many movies as well. Now, aside from the phrase's use, is it even true? Well, that depends. First, you have to look at the type of flower. The health of perennials, which die in the fall and bloom in the spring, are reliant on the rainfall over a stretch of many months, while annuals, which are replanted every year, need rain after they go in the ground. Scientists point out, though, there's a much more important factor than rainfall for when you start seeing flowers, temperature. When an area starts getting spring-like temperatures, no matter how much rain there's been, flowers will begin to bloom, which is why in warmer places like Texas, it sometimes feels like March showers is what brings April flowers. But no matter how you look at things, the phrase in and of itself is a reminder that even the most irritating things can bring about something quite pleasant.